right, I want to welcome everybody today to our first class of the City of God. This is a class on urban missiology. Uh, all of you should have one of these. This is our kind of our light syllabus. Uh, if you look at the back, there's a couple of dates I want to make you aware of. Most importantly is our last day of class. Uh, this is the potluck. It's the world's best potluck. Uh, it's been epic every single year that we've done it, and there hasn't been anything bad. So if you're thinking of bringing anything bad, the date for the potluck is the week after. But uh, if you're excited about potlucks and want to show off a dish that you've got, that would be the day to do it. Another day I want to draw to your attention is on uh, 4.13, and this is a city exploring day. Now you might ask, what is a city exploring day? Uh, this is something we used to do as a family f quarterly, maybe. Uh, we would just kind of take a free Saturday and we would drive to somewhere we could hop on public transportation and we would hop on and just go until we were done. And so we would kind of follow one form of transportation to another and find a meal out somewhere. And if something looked interesting, we would walk there. So it's very, it is very vague uh, and kind of free form. But because of that, that means we can have a lot of fun and a lot of options. For those who've never ridden on public transportation or public transportation in Houston, it's a good way of understanding a different side of our city and just getting to see things more at street level. Most of us, we hop on the highway and we go from you know, wherever we live in the city, probably to some business district for our work. Um, but when you actually start seeing things at street view, uh, you have a very different experience. Um, and so this will definitely connect you to a different side of our community than you might, than you might be aware. Uh, the first half of our class is going to be people sharing on particular topics that relate to urban ministry. So today I'm going to give an introduction. And then after that, we're, you can see there we've got uh, talks on uh, homelessness, mental health, uh, immigration, uh, education, uh, different issues that relate to life and work in the city. And then the second half of the class is going to be city presentations. And so we have, we're trying to group these up as cleanly as we can. So we have Euro-American cities, City of the Americas, uh, Afro-Caribbean cities, African cities, and Asian cities. So we have a good spread of global cities and people who have lived and or worked in some of these cities. Uh, so this is going to be an exciting time where you'll get to hear uh, three or four presentations per night just from different people, different cities around the world. So that'll be very exciting. Uh, this is going to be our book for the class. This is my only copy, God willing, they come in tomorrow. So I've thought of a fun way to get rid of this one copy. You can be the first person at Willcrest to have this copy. Um, we're going to have a little uh, competition. Um, but before we get there, I want to draw your attention to this. Uh, we have a Slack community for our church. If you're on any of our ministry teams, I've probably gotten you into Slack. If you're on any of our committees, I've probably gotten you into Slack. Uh, we do one of these for each year for the class as people go out and they do different activities. It gives, lets them uh, post pictures into the channel that we have. So we have our own channel for the class called City of God. Um, if you need help getting into this or you did get into it before and need help getting back into it, uh, just please talk to me. I'm, I'm more than happy to help. I'm also our tech support for Slack. So if you have issues, I would be the person to see. Um, all right, so the books are coming in. So what I want to do, we're going to do a, uh, we're going to do a trivia quiz uh, as opposed to like a duel or some other way of, of sorting out who gets the book. Um, duel would definitely be more entertaining for sure, uh, but we'll do it this way and so we'll learn something. So how this works is if you think you have the answer, uh, raise your hand as quick as you can or just make a buzzer sound or something and then answer, okay? If you have the correct answer, you get a point. At the end of five rounds, whoever our leaders are in the point count, so basically if you get a point, you'll be in the, in the final. Uh, we're going to have uh, uh, you know, some, a couple final rounds where you can uh, excel. Is everybody ready? We're ready, okay. What is the city with the highest cost of living? No, not Singapore. Nope. Nope, it's a city, no state. Oslo, Norway. Oslo! Oh. <laughs> Indeed. Isn't that a beautiful city? 
Okay, what is the city with the longest name? A German. <laughs> No, a global city in the world. Okay, would it help you if I put the name up? It's 163 characters. I'll give you one more hint, one more hint. Okay, city with the longest name in Thailand. That's the actual city name right there. I'm telling it to you. What's that? <laughs> Bangkok. Who's it? Oh, right. Good job. All right. Bar Barbara's blowing y'all away. Okay. Most densely populated city. Nope. Nope. Jakarta. No. What do you say? Chennai. No. Getting closer. Geographically, anyway. Yep. Nope. But very good guess. No, not Mexico City. Man, I, did I make this too hard? There's a picture of it. Uh, the answer is Dhaka, Bangladesh. They have, get this, um, they have 114,000 people per square mile. The average traffic speed is 14 miles an hour. So just, just to help you feel the pain of this, if Houston, if Houston had this level of density, okay, we have about 670 square miles of Houston city limits. If we had this density of population, we're looking at about 76 and a half million people. <laughs> so 10 times more people than are in Houston currently and then keep adding some more. Um, that's a lot of people. All right, so what's, what's our point count? Barbara has two. We might not even have to go to the runoff. The runoff gets multiple choice, though. Uh, most populous metropolitan area. So not city proper, but metropolitan area. Tokyo, good. There you go. 38 million people in the, in the, the conglomerate area. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Just look at all those lights. The, I should say most, not post. Most populated city proper, actual city limits. What'd you say? Mexico. Nope, not Mexico City. Nope. Nope. There's somebody in here that should definitely get this city. Nope, not New York City. Here's a hint. Wait, is there a hint? There's a hint. Who said Shanghai? <laughs> Come on, Lily, you have to stand up for your city pride. <laughs> All right, so you're at, we got two points and two points. Runoff. Ooh. Well, this actually is a runoff round. All right, all right. Ba Barbara, Barbara and Austin, y'all come stand up here. No, just at least up to the floor here. Come on, come on. Hey, there's a $28 book on the line. A $28 book on the line. All right, so both of y'all, both of y'all get where you can see the, tel the television. I almost said telly. I've been watching a British show. Uh, all right, so these next ones, I'm going to give you some multiple choice because they are a, a lot harder. Uh, try no. <laughs> City with the most Rolls Royce per capita. Your options are Hong Kong, Singapore, Moscow, and London. London. London is incorrect. Austin. Austin. Hong Kong, Singapore, Moscow, and London. And London. Hong Kong. Yes, Hong Kong. <laughs> Very good. Well done, Austin. <laughs> Rolls Royces. Man, you're headed for great things. Okay, highest city in the world. Is it El Alto, uh, Bolivia, Cusco, Peru, Lhasa, Tibet, or Larinconada, Peru? 
Tibet is incorrect. Yes, the Carrasco. The what? Carrasco. Cusco? That's the restaurant. Mm. <laughs> y'all are y'all are both y'all are both incorrect. The other Peru city. The other it's the other Peru city. <laughs> La Rinconada. This is the highest city in the world. It is on a gold mine. Oh, I knew I saw it. Sixteen point eight thousand feet. Oh, wow. Sixteen thousand eight hundred feet. That's they must have bigger lungs or something to live up there. All right. Two more questions. So wait, y'all are still tied? Or are you one up? I'm one up. By one. Lowest city in the world. Is it Holland, Jericho, Baghdad, or Saigon? Holland, Jericho, Baghdad, or Saigon? I'm just excited. I like the tension. I'm just happy. I don't know. I don't think it's Middle East. I think it's Middle East. I'll say. You got it. I mean, it's one of those four. Jericho. Jericho. Yeah. Jericho. It's Jericho. I would have thought the Middle East would have been. They're close to the Dead Sea. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Coldest city in the world. It is. But we're going to. We got two more. I spent time on this yesterday. We're going to run a muscle through. Oh. Russia. One too many clicks. <laughs> ah. This is not working. There's, there's, there's too much. There's too much lag. All right, all right, Austin, you won anyway. Congratulations, Austin. Okay, it did, it did happen really fast. So the coldest city in the world is is uh, Yakut. This is, their average temperature is 16 degrees. It's in Russia. It's in northern kind of Siberia. Um, their coldest temperature ever was 37 below in January. And then the wettest city in the world is, I'm not sure how to say this. Mausinrum, something like this. Uh... They had record rain of 25 meters in 1985. So, what is city? 